It is an honor to be back in front of you. I had no idea I would be back in front of you when I came here two weeks ago. I told you there was a possibility of a storm. The next day, I learned about the storm. The storm is $25,000 of tax money was given to market and promote a Big Lick Tennessee walking horse show that has a checkered past and an uh, unfortunate history of animal abuse associated directly with it. Not only that, it is a failed venture. A lot of misrepresentations were made to you folks. One of them, Miss Cantrell, a nice lady, came in here, appeared before you. She mentioned $800,000 of contributions. Nothing could be further from the truth. And I'm not saying she misrepresented it, but from 2010 forward, the total amount of contributions to your community has been about $12,000. And the show wasn't even here one year. They've given almost $40,000 to Tennessee organizations that are promoting the big league, which we contend is animal cruelty. It's way out of kilter. We don't believe that the Tourism Development Council or the CBB board had the facts. I read the minutes of the meeting that took place when the $25,000 was requested, and I could tell there from risk reading the minutes the questions that people had. And you were not provided the information, in my opinion, you needed to make a sound decision. So that's why I'm coming back. I'm not against black shod Tennessee walking horses. I'm an ordinary citizen. We have people here supporting this. They're ordinary citizens. They're wearing a button called the Pass Act. That's to make all this illegal, to eliminate the animal cruelty. Again, we're for flat shod Tennessee walking horses where you don't have this systemic endemic abuse. We have a situation where with this particular horse show, there's been that history. Some of the organizations <laughs> for promoting the sound flatside walking horse or walking horse owners association in tennessee uh friends of sound horses which is a national organization uh now i don't throw these facts around casually we looked at 15 years of tax returns for this gulf coast celebration association inc they are respectfully darning i won't say the other word but it's darning it's not good it shows that it's been misrepresented to y'all. There was a this thing went great the first five or six years. Okay, they put fifty thousand into the park. That's a long time ago. They didn't give but maybe I don't think they gave any contribution in eleven at all. Then they tried to sell the show. Thought they had a buyer at the beginning of twelve. It fell through. And then Mr. Inman's organization, the Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration, came in, took it over for a year, and gave it back to them in the beginning of 13. Then the trainers show up and say, oh, we like this vacation we get. And Mr. Young's on the agenda. I don't see him in the room. There he is, there he is. Bill's here. Good. His group partnered allegedly with this group to have this horse show down here. All right, they had it in uh, 13. And one more time, over this five years, they've given a total of $12,000 to your community. In 14, the show was a failure. They had a total of uh, 164 classes and three nights of those 91 were big league horses that's barely 30 horses a night okay allegedly to the tourism development council there was referenced an impact study i talked to mr Rowe the next day after meeting with you folks there is no impact study that he has he doesn't know of one never seen it they don't have it so i'm passionate about the issue i'm not trying to come on too strong with you but it's egregious what i found out and it's, you're the decision makers in this operation. If I may, and I'm not that technically proficient, but let me try. All right, I've mentioned Dr. Hafner. He's the gentleman from Tennessee, that, the veterinarian, who has said this is animal cruelty. I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> uh, Mel? He, he's not. Let me depart from here just a second. See, Doc. Uh, 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 you want to turn that light down, Mr. C? Well, that's up to y'all. I don't have. I don't want to do it to make it so your honor. That's fine. Just the side. Mrs. Milligan, she's the lady here that's in charge. That's, that's her violations, by the way. That's her HBA violations history. 
that we have. That's a complaint that was filed against her in December of 2015, which she didn't tell you guys about. That's a horse trainer that was found guilty of assault three weeks ago, and Ms. Milligan was up there in the courtroom helping the lawyer defending him. That's the 20% violation rate for the horse show they had in Tennessee last year. That's a big leg horse, and that shows what the abuse is like. Uh, he's a horse saved from rescue. There have been a million views of this situation with this horse. That is a big lick horse at the University of Tennessee. They used to have a tradition up there. They don't show that horse anymore. Tennessee doesn't want that horse. In my opinion, you guys probably shouldn't have it down here either. I mean, it's, it's, it's a bothersome proposition. That's another one. They've gone to the flash shot horse, which uh, is this horse. No pads, no chains. They won't let chains come back on their on their football field anymore. Uh, they do this at homecoming every year at the University of Tennessee. There's Mr. Inman. Mr. Inman has Horse Protection Act violation history. Okay, this is a celebration of the inspectors last year where they found 35% of the horses they inspected as being, they used the word non-compliant. That's a euphemism. Non-compliant means a horse was in violation of the Horse Protection Act and they would not let the horse show. A lot of them were, were what you call sore. They have a big dog and pony show about they're going to have a back, a veterinary advisory committee and institute all these rules and stuff. This was a Budweiser Clydesdale vet that allegedly was on their veterinary advisory committee. We found out that he didn't even know anything about it. That's the front page of the Tennessean two years ago. I could go on and on. I've got all these facts. I've got all this data. I will make them available to any of you folks sitting in your chair because you're the decisors. Now, there's a contract here with this horse show. You didn't have full knowledge of what you were getting into, respectfully. I know you don't want to have a lawsuit about the contract, but I would respectfully, humbly suggest y'all get a committee and y'all go talk to the lady in charge of this, and I would urge you to have her call this off and get it out of your park because you're begging the national scrutiny. I'm not animal rights. Never have been, not going to be. I eat ham, I hunt, all the things that they yip yip about. But I am for welfare of the horses. Congressman Ted Yoho from Florida has introduced the pass that. That's what these people are wearing the buttons. It makes it illegal. Cong Florida has 27 United States congressmen. 18 of them are support this bill. You've got Al C. Hastings and Ted Yoho on the same bill. That's not humanly possible. <laughs> Unbelievable. You've got Senator Nelson on the bill. Then you have Senator Rubio, who was on it last year. That's your two senators. You've got Representative Graham, who is your congressman here. She's on it. She first of all it. For the first, the show to come to Panama City Beach does not compute. Y'all have one of the most beautiful places in the world. And here we're talking about this animal cruelty situation descending upon you. Um, Ms. Cantrell's husband has three HPA violations. Mr. Inman can tell you how many he has. Mr. Young, nice fellow, known him 30 years, dresses up better than I do. He's served a federal suspension for animal cruelty, sore violations, and he just got off of it in January, or no, in uh, April of 2014. Um, it's wrong. It's just wrong. And, you, and, and I know it started out good here, but it's time to wind it up down here. Uh, how am I doing on time, Mr. Gisbert? 30 seconds. 30 seconds? <laughs> <clears throat> One more time. Mahatma Gandhi said, essentially, you can judge a people by how they treat their animals. These people say they love these horses. They love something about these horses, but they don't love these horses, okay? because they hurt them. You cannot have the big leg without pain. Dr. Hafner said that, not me. He's available. 
He's publicly gone on record at the risk of getting his fired from his job. Y'all have been nice to give me 10 minutes. I don't want to go over that, but I'm available for anybody that wants to know anything. There's a complete slideshow there, and I'd be glad to play it to anybody that wants to see it anytime, anyplace, anywhere. Thank you very much. Thank you.